So, you suck at wheelies. Today, I'm gonna to give you some tips to improve your skills and take your riding to the next level. And here he is, Jeff Lenoski. My name is Jeff Lenoski, and I've been riding professionally for over 25 years. I started out as a bike trial specialist trying to ride my bike over everything in my path. And I mean everything. Nowadays, I enjoy tackling the most technical mountain bike trails I could find. And if those aren't difficult enough, I'll make up my own. I love sharing my knowledge with fellow riders to help them improve their skills. Ride with me and I'll show you how to be a trail boss. I'm pretty sure wheelies are the first trick ever done by somebody trying to impress their friends and it's definitely the most popular. This classic trick has been around for generations and with a little bit of practice, you can be wheeling like a boss. Before we talk about some of the common mistakes riders make when they're trying to learn to wheelie, let's give a brief overview of the trick. Wheelies are best to learn by rolling at a slow to medium pace and in an easy gear, but something that still has a little bit of resistance. Stay seated, dip your torso towards the handlebars, and then as you spring up, use a well-timed pedal stroke to lift your front wheel. Once your wheel is in the air, it's all about using your rear brake to bring it back down if it starts to get too high, or a little bit of extra pedal and leaning back to keep your front wheel up. Wheelies take a fair bit of practice to perfect and you probably will fall while you're learning. So I highly recommend practicing this trick on some grass. And if you have some flat pedals, throw those on as well so you have a chance to step off the bike when necessary. The most common mistake I see riders making when they're learning to wheelie happens before their front wheel ever leaves the ground and that's having their seat in the wrong position. When your seat's too high, it makes it real easy to get your front end off the ground, but then it's much harder to balance when you're up there. When your seat's too low, you have a much better balance point because your center of gravity is lower, but it's much harder to get your front wheel in the air. That brings us to what I consider my perfect saddle height for beginning to learn wheelies. That's about two inches down from maximum extension. It's the perfect balance between leverage to get your front end up and low enough to give you some side to side balance because your center of gravity still is fairly low. The second biggest mistake I see when riders are struggling to get their front end up in the air is they're not using enough hips. Let me explain. When you do a wheelie, you need to get your weight, which is in your hips, behind the rear axle. And I see too many riders dipping straight down using only their chest, and then when they take their well-timed pedal stroke, they're lifting straight up on the handlebars. That makes it really hard to get your weight behind the rear axle. The trick is to use your seat to accelerate the bike forward and do it more in a circular motion. So that helps you get your front end up in the air by pushing your back underneath you and accelerating your bike. So how do you do that? With a little bit of hip action. So when you take your well-timed pedal stroke, you wanna get your hips back and then as you stroke down, it's a thrust forward and that helps you get your front end up in the air. If you can consistently lift your front wheel in the air but you can't hold it that far or your wheelies constantly increase in speed, it's most likely because you're not leaning back far enough. So remember at the beginning of this video when I said practice on some grass and put on some flat pedals? That's because you're gonna wanna practice intentionally looping out because the balance point is probably a lot further back than you think it is. You need to get comfortable with that position before you could ever truly wheelie long distances. Posture is super important when you're wheeling. I see too many riders with hunched backs looking down at your straight wheel. So that's the last most common mistake we're gonna touch on. Make sure that your back stays straight, your shoulders are back, your arms are straight, your chin is up and you're looking far ahead. When you pick a point on the horizon versus looking straight down at your tire, it smooths everything out and instead of making constant corrections, it'll make you wheelie a lot further. Wheelies are super fun, they're stylish, they help you improve your balance, and it's an awesome way to impress your friends. So hopefully by pointing out some of the common mistakes, it helps you improve your wheelies.
You didn't think that was it. Now it's time for me to put my own tips to the test and see if I can wheelie down this wall. All right, thank you for checking out the video. If you made it this far, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I'll also put a link to my private Facebook group in the description below. It's a place where you can go to chat all things bikes with like-minded riders and get online coaching from myself. That's it for now. Until next time, get out there and be a boss.